Hi, in this video I'll be explaining how to collect and filter sediment from wetlands and creeks around Melbourne. First of all you need uh, different equipment depending on what sediment you're going to collect. You'll need a shovel, buckets of different volumes and lids. You will need filter nets depending on whether you want to filter the sediment. You'll need a nitrile and thick gloves and also waders. Then you'll need to get into the water and rinse the bucket to get rid of any residue that's, that's still retained on the bucket from previous sampling. So rinse it out a couple of times in sight water. Then you need to collect the sediment. So just collect the top two to four centimetres of the sediment from around the creek and the wetland that you're sampling. Make sure you try and get sediment from a range of different areas. Don't just stay in one location so you get a good representative sample of the area that you're sampling. Then you add water to the bucket to enable filtering. Mix the sediment and water together with your shovel. This will enable the sediment to filter better through the, through the filter nets. Then you pour the sediment and water in through into the nets for filtering. First of all, we filter through the coarse net. The one that we have here is a 500 micron net, and this will retain things like leaves and twigs so that they don't pierce the finer net. Once all the sediments come through, you then filter through the next net. This one here is a 63 micron filter, which will allow us to collect this fine silt from the sediment. After you've finished putting through all the sediment through your net, you will see it looks like just muddy water. Let the sediment settle, just let it stand for a few hours and then you're ready to use it. So we allow the sediment to stand uh, in a cold room for usually 24 to 48 hours and that will allow the sediment to settle at the bottom of the bucket. Then you decant the overlying water and you're left with the sediment. You can then send the sediment off for chemical analysis to find out what's present in the sediment. And we also run toxicity tests on the sediment to see how toxic it is to various types of invertebrates. That's the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention.